The funny part is I went to college knowing in my mind that I was going to be a business teacher and a high school basketball coach. Not even close. I had a college roommate that said he took a mass comm class and he really liked it. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to give that a try. Pretty soon, and I hadn't declared a major yet, I was a sophomore in college, and I decided, you know what, I'm going to major in broadcasting. So my point to the students today would be, don't be in a hurry. If you have some questions and you're not sure what you want to do, you don't have to go to college knowing exactly what it is that you're going to do for the rest of your life. Explore, find out what you like, and pretty soon you'll find something that you have a passion for. What you think you're going to do when you're 16, as opposed to the, by, by the time you, you see all the possibilities that are available to you, whether that be in college or you decide to try a trade school or something like that, it may open your eyes to a brand new world that you never even thought about. You know, because now, even now, looking back, I wish I would have at least taken some classes in some different fields to see if I enjoyed it. But I was all mind of the mindset that I'm going to coach basketball and I'm going to teach business. And, and right now, that's the furthest thing from what I ended up doing. You know, you can have a goal and you can shoot for that goal, but over here, while, while you're shooting for that goal, don't be afraid to take in what other options are available to you there because it may open your eyes to something else that you're really interested in. And if you enjoy what you do, and this is true because not every job that I've had have I enjoyed what I do every day. If you enjoy what you do, it truly isn't work. It is, it is feeding a passion. First of all, was college your idea? Yes, 100%. I wanted to go. I knew right away when I was like five years old, I had to go for weather. And then so to do weather and do what I do now, I had to go to uh, the four-year school to get that degree. So yes, I would say um, for those going to college, make sure you don't do an 8 a.m. class. Even 9.15 is early. I would say go later in the day because you might think 8 a.m., you go to high school earlier, you're thinking okay now, but you want time to do the extracurriculars at the same time. And the um, so I think that's a good ed piece of advice. And then the other thing is too, I think join clubs in college. I met my lifelong friends doing that and I talk to them every single day to this day. So people that, that make friends in high school, a lot of times like I think you find a little bit more about yourself. You have more interest what you're doing in college. So like my college friends, we all have degrees in meteorology, so we connect through weather. In high school, you sit at the cafeteria lunch table just talking about, you know, other what you do in gym class. Here you're actually sharing your likes and interests. In college, do what you want to do and you have to overcome those fears. Sit at the lunch table with a group of people you have no idea who they are. They're going to welcome you and they're going to be friends with you and they're going to want to ask questions about you. And that's still a fear I have today. But you know what? That got me through college and that's where I stand with my friends who I still talk to every single day. Um, once you got there, what was it like? Was it culture shock? What was it? It was definitely a culture shock, um, you know, being, you know, I'm from a small community in, in New Jersey, like going to a big city and, you know, meeting all different kinds of people from all different places across the United States. That was, was kind of overwhelming, I would say, it's to say the least. Um, I really, like, I thought I would have liked the school. Um, I ended up only staying there for a semester and I took another semester off and decided to come back closer to home and went to another school for four years. Tell me what that break was like. My, well, my first concern was when I was thinking about this was like, what are my parents gonna say? Like, you know, I, I was hyping this school up this whole time and you know, this was like the place I wanted to be. And I was like, I don't wanna let like people down that I told, hey, I wanna go here. but. You know, you got to do what's right for you and what you think is going to be the best situation for you. And that's what I kind of did. I was like, you know what, people can say what they want to say, but I feel like I'm going to have a better experience at this school and there, again, will be more opportunity and I can get to where I need to be, even from this other school. Try to observe and take a minute just to see what your surroundings are like. and you know, try to get involved in, in activities and, you know, try to meet new friends and connect with people because I, I think that's what really helped me was getting involved in some student organizations and, and meeting people because it's scary being on your own. Like you're going from, hey, my family's right here, my friends are right here, you might be going to a school halfway across the United States and, you know, it's going to be scary but 
you know, if you start getting involved right away, I feel like that is just such a help because, you know, everyone's pretty much in the same boat or has been in the same boat you've been in prior. So, did you know what you wanted to do when you left high school? I thought I, I had interests that I was excited to pursue. I had a couple of ideas, but by the time I went to college, I changed my major a couple of times. I initially, initially went and I wanted to be a a translator for foreign languages and so I was going to be studying a bunch of different languages. I love that idea. And then I wanted to be a dairy farmer so I switched my major to dairy science and then I found journalism while I was there and that was sort of unexpected. I would have, I took journalism classes in high school but wasn't necessarily what I thought I wanted to do with my life and um, met the right people and had the right kind of experiences to really ignite that passion. So that didn't happen until halfway through college for me. I hope people know that if you are curious about how somebody got started in doing what they're doing or whether there's maybe more opportunity for you to do it, ask because people love to share that. People love to mentor others, to share advice. You are not bugging them. I think they're really eager to impart some wisdom that they learned. So it sounds like you had some really influential people in life mm -hmm. that, that you say, you know, helped open your eyes to new opportunities. Yes. How did you, how did you find those people or did they find you? Oh. oh, that's a good question. I mean, when I look back on what, how transformative those years of college was, it was all about meeting great people, making wonderful friendships, um, making connections that I feel like will always shape my life and kind of uh, inform my decisions moving forward. I think one thing I did in college was I said yes to a lot of opportunities. I asked to be involved in things. I, um, if I saw somebody that made me excited, I got their phone number or I sent them an email and I asked them if uh, there was some way I could learn what they're doing or shadow them or something like that. And that opened a lot of doors too. Is there anything that you uh, wish you knew back then that you know now? Um, I think, well, I don't know. I think I wanted to share with people that uh, those anxious feelings because it's so, it's so funny to now think about those months before I went to college and feeling almost crippled by what I can now see was anxiety. And then to see the months and years that followed college of how wonderful that was for my life and the opportunities and changes and um, different things I got interested in was such a joy in my life. I'm glad that I had support that I did or maybe confidence or courage or whatever it was that got me past that hurdle and to see the opportunities ahead. So I hope that people find support that they need to keep them going because just around the corner, there might be that opportunity that you've been waiting for. When I was looking what career I wanted to go into, I kind of had a set list of standards. I knew that I didn't want to be in a desk all day and I knew I didn't want to be bored. And that left not a lot of career options of what they were offering. And then I was like, you know what? I just have to be a journalist. And then that's what I did. And then I really didn't change it up. Were you ever nervous to go uh, away from home and uh, start this new experience? It was a little bit nerve wracking because it was 12 hours away, but I really couldn't wait. It got me through the last two years of high school. I was like, I get to go on this big adventure and that's what I was really looking forward to. So it was more just excitement. So you're an adventure seeking person? Mm hmm yes. I wanted something new and to be uncomfortable and all different. So it was perfect for me to go far away. I think that if you have the opportunity to go out of state for college, it's really easy to grow where you're uncomfortable. So you're going to have all of these new experiences and life challenges and it's going to help you as a person just see things differently and um, you're just able to grow when you're uncomfortable. So I think that that is a really big positive. Call your mom in college when things go bad. 
I feel like I called my mom all the time um, and calling friends from home and then just realizing that there's going to be so many mishaps in college because everything that you once knew is completely changed and you just have to kind of roll with the punches and I think there's that thing called the five second rule. If you're not going to worry about it in five years, just take a deep breath and let it float away because not everything is as deep as you think it is in those moments. And there's so many of those in college. So just call your mom and take a deep breath, I would say. Um, after high school, I was, I remember being very excited to go to college and uh, be off on my own and be in a biggerish city. Um, but best of all, I was going with my best friend from high school. So I think that's why I don't remember being scared. I remember being nervous. Um, but I think having my best friend there uh, was really helpful to get over that fear and just knowing that I had someone that was gonna go through everything with me. From where you are now, looking back to the person you were then, what would you, any words of advice you'd give yourself? Um, just be easier on myself to try to understand that it was a learning process. I did go, I went straight from high school right into college, which is a lot, what a lot of kids do. Um, but at that time, I really had no clue what I wanted to do. I uh, d didn't have a passion. Like my best friend, she knew right away she was going to go into medicine. And, um, and I didn't have that. And so just to give myself a little bit of grace and you know, be like, it's gonna be okay. You will find something that's gonna work out and you're not gonna be some degenerate on the side of the road. <laughs> uh, get as many experiences as you can. Join as many clubs, uh, travel as much as you can. Um, I did a, a whole year abroad and that was probably the best. It was the most, by far the most expensive thing I've ever done in my life and I'm still paying for it, but would not, I would do it three times over again. I've never regretted it. What was your perspective uh, shift when you came back? So this is obviously a meaningful experience for you. Yeah, it was, it made me realize that there's, there's not always a right and wrong answer. There's um, just different ways of doing it. It's not wrong, it's just different is probably the biggest mantra I came home with. Uh, going to a country like Greece where they don't speak the same language, they don't even have the same alphabet, they do things very differently. Um, it was a lot of um, what I'm doing is not wrong, it's dif just different. What they're doing is not wrong, it's just different. Um, and so I think that kind of started the process of being like, um, it's okay to not have life figured out. <laughs> what would you say the, uh, the scariest thing about starting um, college was for you? Mm, I, didn't, I didn't know anyone. I went to a school out of state for the specific reason of not knowing anyone because I wanted to challenge myself and I guess strengthen like my communication skills and just meet new people. So it was scary not knowing anyone, but that was like the reason I wanted to move away and go somewhere where I didn't know anyone so I would grow, I guess, as a person. It's okay to like do things by yourself and like be by yourself. It helps you grow as a person. I guess um, also keep up to date on your emails because I forgot to accept like a ten thousand dollars scholarship. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, that hurts my soul. Yeah, that one was bad after I found I missed that one. Be nice to everyone. It doesn't cost you anything, and you'll never have any regrets. I went to a college that was sixteen hundred miles away to a state I'd never lived in before. I was very excited about it. my stepdad. Thought, oh, he's gonna come home in a month because he's gonna be want to come home or whatever. I had the time of my life. I had so much fun. It was a great experience and I never looked back. I mean, I barely lived in my hometown after I went off to college. And I just had wonderful experiences. You got you got to branch out. You got to try new things. Can you tell me about some of those new things and fun experiences? Well, I mean, where I went, kids are from all 50 states and even foreign countries. And we are having this brand new experience together. And it was a wonderful thing to uh, see people from different parts of the country, you know, because we grow up and we just know people from where we grew up. And all of a sudden you just see people with different perspectives. You see California kids and you see New York kids and, and 
you know, we're all trying to do the same thing, but we're coming from different places. And it was just a, a, a wonderful time. I remember thinking that I'd never have any better friends than I did in high school. And then you move away and you experience new things and you discover, I can make friends anywhere. And I make even greater friends later in life, you know, if, I, if I'm not living at home. And there are so many more experiences to have, things that you can learn and do and try for the first time. I think you'll generally find that people around the world are pretty nice. There are a select few who are going to be mean no matter what, whether they like you or not. But for the most part, people are friendly, they're open, and they're willing to, to listen to you and give you a chance. When I graduated high school, I had zero clue what to do. I, I literally had no idea. I could look through, you know, in those days it wasn't on the internet, you had an actual book. I could look, nothing jumped out at me. I had no idea what I wanted to do. And then I just decided, I kind of like to write. And so I started looking at jobs that I could do that would allow me to write. And here we are. I wanted to go somewhere where no one from high school was because I grew up in a small town. It was 18 of us in our graduating class. Probably 14 of us had been together since kindergarten. And I just wanted to meet new people. And so I picked a college that nobody else was going to. And I didn't know what I wanted to be when I grew up. And so I thought I'm just gonna go to a junior college and get some generals out of the way and figure it out. I think Alan's advice about be nice is great advice because we're all just doing the best that we can and hold the door for somebody or say hi to the, the person in the hallway when you're walking to the bathroom in the morning, right? Like it's just little things. When you were um, sending your kids off to college, did you give them any words of advice or any tips to look by? I probably told them to go to church. I don't know what I said. I'm sure it was something really important like that. If I, What I will tell my little girls, because those first two were just practice, right? So now I get to get it right. I will tell them, call your mom. Because mom will be worried. Mom will be sad and missing you. And it's OK to call every day if you need to. Um, but I did hear you ask Alan about friends and if you and I still to this day see some people that I went to college with. And in this job, like I've been lucky enough to do stories with a few of them, right? And so that's pretty cool that A, we still have each other's phone numbers. We still talk, we still bump into each other. They're like some of your best friends that you'll make, or your college friends.